Right, hello guys. So today we're just going to be taking Evian water bottle and just turning it into a little nursery for one of the baby morning geckos. First we're going to start off, just take your knife, cut around the bottle, uh, that way we can flip the top, turn it into the bottom. Then all we're going to do after that is just take a soldering iron, pop some holes in here, maybe a couple around here, and just see how it goes to be honest. I'm going to take it outside though because I don't want the fumes around the reptiles. Alright, so that hasn't gone too badly. The, um, the lighting in here is not great though. But <laughs> So we've got our top piece. I tried to do some form of pattern but backfired halfway through I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and then in the middle we've also got a nice little ring just for that extra little bonus main key here is just make sure that you're not doing any holes that are bigger than the head if they're bigger than the head they're gonna get out so you can choose to use soil for this personally I'm going for sphagnum moss reason being I feel soil might go stagnant in a situation like this and I won't be able to get in there to turn it without them escaping. So we've got our moss in there. I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do, this is our bioactive viv. So I'm gonna grab a piece of moss. Give it a shake. And that will just get a few of the springtails in there. That'll just help clean up any mess, keep it nice and healthy for us. Give it a spritz to make sure it's nice and humidified, the moss is nice and soaked. The good thing about the cleanup crew as well, so the springtails and the wood lice, is that would help to be a good little meal for her as well. So you could use a live plant. Personally, I tend to prefer live plants, but this time I'm going to go plastic just because I feel it'll be a bit easier. Now I know most people would set up a proper vivarium when doing this. Um, the only reason I'm not though is because it's not going to take long for her to be the right size to be able to go in with the adults, no problem. And I do have some plants on the way. So it's probably only going to be a couple weeks to be honest and then she'll be able to go back in the um, proper enclosure. Just pop a couple in, give her some foliage so you can climb on and a bit of cover. Then I've just got a dab of the adult's food on my finger. Gonna pop that on one of the leaves. Just to be a feeding station. Simply with the top of the lid, get a piece of sponge. And just cram it in, just so they can't escape through that exit. So now what I can do is each day I can just take the sponge out, be able to feed, water, ventilate, with a very low chance of any escapes. So now we'll just pop her behind Jason's viv. It'll keep her nice and warm there and the darkness will help keep her calm. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.